Hey guys, I just got my uh, Farber, Farberware, excuse me, Farberware 2 to 4 cup stainless steel percolator. And I thought I'd do an unboxing. Kind of new to reviews and things like that. So uh, bear with me here. So once again, this is the Farberware uh, 2 to 4 cup. It's the smallest one I could find. Uh, kind of like small right now. Single guy. And then my girlfriend. Uh, probably enough for uh, another person for a visit or something. Much more than that, I'm not sure. Maybe it could handle three people. Get a company. Depends on how much coffee they want. Excuse me. Dropping stuff. <clears throat> Looks like it comes with the instructions, safeguards, things like that. Probably want me to wash this before I use it. Right, sharp. Okay, guys, I'm back with my Farberware two to four cup percolator. Just gonna get focused in on that. I washed it. Just came back from washing it. Uh, hope you can see that real well. So there it is. So I pre-measured the coffee beans in the water. I have 12 ounces of water that I'm about to pour into it. And what did I do for beans? About 21 grams of coffee. I've yet to grind that yet, so uh, bear with me here. I'm kind of new to video. Uh, doing reviews and stuff like that. So, here is my 21 grams of coffee that I'm going to grind. I'm guessing they want a coarser grind, especially since I didn't get filters for this yet. Uh, it's not needed to have a filter, but I heard if you want the oils and maybe some of the finer residue um, removed, you'll need a filter. Um, this is on the French press setting. Uh, maybe I'll go one more course at 14. So on a scale of 1 to 8, see 1 to 18, 18 being the coarsest, I'm on 14. So, I thought I prepped everything. I still have, I still have this. <laughs> I didn't get ready yet. Let's see, what do I do with my lid to this? Good luck finding that. Here it is. I'll make sure I'm somewhat in focus here. Grinder. I won't zoom in, but I will focus on it if it's doing that. Okay, I think it is. So here we go. So, I'm going to pour that in the filter basket. And I'm always trying to make sure I'm relatively somewhere within the focus where I want to be. So, 
probably over here now. Oh, this is going to make a mess. I'm going to do this uh, by my sink. <laughs> oh. At least it's over my sink. And most people probably <laughs> do that while this other stuff is already in here. I'm pretty new to this. I think this is the first time I've ever even done this on a percolator. I might have done it over a campfire before, but this is an electric percolator. I think this basket, everything goes on. Somehow that doesn't seem right to me. You know, it can be this way. Nope, something else. I must have it right. I'm thinking it screws on maybe. Nope, it just sits in there. So yeah, I barely know what I'm doing. So we'll see how this actually turns out. Definitely my first time doing this and I'm standing in the way of the video. You know what guys, this is really bad. I didn't even put the water in yet. So here's my... Here, let's get... Let's rinse this out one more time. I'm going to get some grounds in there. This is just a really honest video. Wow. So here's my 12 ounces of water. I think it might be able to do as little as 10. I'm not sure, but the, the line where it fills up, I figured, where it, sorry, the two cup line pretty much measures out at, um, weighs out and measures out at 12 ounces. But in the directions it said something about one cup equals five ounces. Well, that would be ten ounces if I was two cups in that regard. But no, when I, when I go up to the two cup line, it comes out at twelve ounces. So to me that says that one cup equals six ounces. But it doesn't really matter because I'm sure I'll lose some with steam. And maybe that's what they're figuring. I don't know. See if we can put the focus back on that. So, really not this bad. Just all right. There we go. Now I'm going to plug it in. There is no on and off switch. So I'll be back. Probably let it run for about 30 seconds. I wonder if that's really down as far as it needs to be. I believe it is. So I'll be back when this is done. All right guys, so I'm back. It looks like it's done um, percolating. I don't know why I thought maybe there would be a light. I did turn this thing around so the farber where logo was up front or this the print 
thinking maybe there was a light, but you can tell when it's done percolating, so that's no big deal. It does go into an auto warm cycle, I guess. And I don't think it repercolates, but I'll probably unplug it. Getting used to this, okay. Alright. Alright, so. Let's see what happens here. Well, I gotta get this so I'm not in the way. Focus in on it. Focus. There it is. Well, I'll probably back it up just a hair so it's in the frame a little better. Okay. I'm acquiring focus on my iPhone remotely. You know, it smells really good in here. Did I forget to mention that? So it does smell a lot better than like with a drip coffee maker. I should have measured how much this really makes it. You know, 12 ounces is what I started with. I'm sure I lost a little bit. Well, it's too late because I didn't tear out my scale. Maybe I did. If I'm not mistaken. I did tear that out. Right now it says 9.63 ounces and I can keep pouring. But I want to leave some room for cream. That's about it. It's, it's, I start off with uh, 10 ounces. Sorry, I started off with 12 ounces. And somewhere in the vicinity of around 10. What did I say? So it's 9.74. I think I could keep pouring, but it seems like it's mostly empty. I think that's about all she wrote. I don't want the lid to pop it off or to get too much sludgy stuff. I'll taste it without cream and sugar at first. I suppose I need to. There's no camera person here, so it's just me. And I did bring some lemon pastry stuff here. I'll zoom in on that for a second. I just got it at Family Thrift. Uh, my hands are all full of junk. There's a lemon pastry if it would focus on it. And if I get myself in the frame. I don't know if it wants to focus on me. Let me back up. It probably needs to cool off anyway. I'll back this lens up a little bit. Ooh. <laughs> no, I don't think that's backing up. Okay. Let's give this a shot. Try to get more in the frame here. That's a good cup. And it's had plenty, <coughs> excuse me, it's had plenty of time to cool down. And it's still pretty hot. I don't know how to compare it to a, a drip. I would say this does taste like a better cup of coffee. Of course I'm a little bit biased because I just got it. I have a nice drip coffee maker. But, you know this seems to have a little more flavor perhaps. But some of that's subjective. I think I do taste a little different though honestly. Um, and all I had to use was uh, well, I won't say what I used, but it was a Sumatra blend, or it's not even a blend, I think that's the uh, one source, I think. I'm going to pour some sugar in there. I'm trying to stand out of the frame here. It is actually good enough without, I think if I was to drink my coffee black, this would be 
a lot more bearable for me. <laughs> I might even like it. But I do tend to like cream and sugar, so I'm not that big of a coffee snob if I add those two things right. That's definitely good. There's no doubt about that. I think I'll have one bite of this on camera. Take a couple more swallows of that delicious coffee. Mm. Good stuff. This has got to be the weirdest review. I barely know what I'm doing. I'm technical enough to set up the remote um, features of the camera. Definitely a good photographer, I won't lie about that. Video is a whole other thing for me. Um, I'm not as interested in that per se. But I just got some shots of an Osprey <clears throat> couple days ago, I think it was maybe three days ago by now, and it's really super clear. I mean, you can see the eyes, you can you can see the reflection in the eyes, it's pretty much that clear. It caught a fish, and I, I caught multiple photos of that. I don't think I've even went through them all yet. But I'm slurping my coffee. Well, that is good coffee. So I can make, at a minimum, what they took, call two cups. Normally a cup would be eight ounces, but I don't think coffee companies or manufacturers go by that. I think it's usually five or six. And this company, I think, goes, goes by it being, uh, I want to say five. Yeah, one cup brewed coffee equals five fluid ounces. One standard coffee measure equals two level tablespoons. I went by the one to 16.7 ratio. So whatever I had in water, I divided that by 16.7 to get how much in grams I wanted for the coffee. Now, I wasn't 100% sure that would still translate real well to the percolator, but it seems like it did. Very good. Alright, we'll end the video. Thanks for watching, I sure appreciate it.